Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the Delta Solo feature in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here, and I want to EQ and compress some of the tracks. I have some drums, bass, and some instruments, and all the tracks are in a folder. Let's hear it. Now the first thing I'm noticing is a bit too much sub or deep low end on the whole thing, at least for my purposes. So I'm going to go to the track effects on the folder and add an EQ. We'll go to the Reaper effects and we'll choose Re-EQ. Double click it and it looks like this. Let's delete all the bands except for one and let's change it to a high pass filter. So we can roll off the low end like this. Let's hear it. We can see right here all that extended low end or sub. So we could bring it up until it sounds just right, like this. But another thing we could do is use the Delta Solo feature. If we go up here to the dry wet mix knob, right click we could choose Delta Solo, which is the difference between the dry and wet signal. So basically, it compares the input to the output and plays the difference. So for this situation, we're just gonna hear what we're cutting. So it's really useful for this purpose to just hear what we're removing. Right about there feels good. Now I'm using a subwoofer, so you may not hear this on your speakers. But this frequency, I don't really need for my purposes. So now we can go back here and right click again, and that turns it off. Although we could also just click it to turn it off. And also Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac to turn it on or off. And we can see. The S yes with the triangle, letting us know we're in Delta Solo mode. Just click it again to turn it off and hear the result. I also want to compress the drums. So go to the track effects on the drums. Let's go to the Reaper effects and choose Recomp, which looks like this. And if we turn on this feature right now, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, we're not going to hear anything. Because the difference between the input and the output is the same. Because we're not compressing anything yet. Let's bring down the threshold. Now, if we want to hear what we're compressing, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and click it. It puts it in Delta Solo. Now we can hear the difference or just what we're compressing. So now we can fine tune our filter down here to just compress or just trigger the compressor by certain frequencies. So let's hear the difference. So a compressor is just being triggered by our filter and we could hear it 
by turning on this feature. So it's not reacting to the deepest frequencies or the highest ones. Now for our bass, it sounds a bit clicky to me, so I want to bring down the EQ, but just on the most clickiest frequencies. So let's add an EQ to the bass. But instead of choosing the Reaper effects, let's use a third party plugin, as this feature is going to work with any plugin in Reaper. So I'm going to choose the CLA Mix Hub which looks like this, to filter out the clickiness in the bass. Now we could just grab the EQ and try to filter out that sound. And just sweep it around. But a better way is to use the Delta Solo feature. So if we cut this frequency completely, we're just going to hear what we're cutting. We could change the bandwidth. So once we find the most annoying frequency, that's what we're actually cutting. And now we can turn it off and we'll hear it being reduced. That's better. And then finally, on the instruments, it has a lot of air on the top end. I don't really need that information, so let's reduce that with an EQ. Let's use the re EQ again. Let's remove all the bands except for one and switch this to a low pass filter. Adjust the bandwidth. And now we can listen to a removal of the top end or the air. But a better way to do this is to use that feature. Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, to turn it on, or we could right click and turn it on here. Now we're just gonna hear the frequencies we're removing. And notice when we get down here, there's some nice top end I wanna keep. But everything up here, I can remove. So now we can click this to go back, and we're just removing the frequencies we don't need the top end air. So if we put it all together, it sounds like this. So as you can tell, the Delta Solo feature is very useful for working with plugins or effects, whether it be Reaper effects or third-party plugins, as we can reverse what we're listening to and hear what we're boosting or cutting in the opposite way. It's very useful for EQ, compression, gating, or any plugins or effects you may use. So that's pretty much it. That's the Delta Solo feature in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bonnie and Kate.
city being best friends. Oh! <laughs>